Today on Under the Big Tree, creating a DIY foam core box insert for Elder Sign. And here is Elder Sign, a game that I also affectionately refer to as Cthulhu Yahtzee. Uh, it's a fun, light, quick game that can be quite difficult, particularly with the Unseen Forces expansion. What I like about it is that it fits in a small box, uh, it's lightweight, and it's just a lot of fun. It's really quick and easy to teach, and it's like sort of getting a little game of Eldritch Horror in uh, pretty quickly there. So, what I did to make it easier to take in and take out was I made a foam core box insert. Some of the ones I do, I just make up myself. This one, I got the ideas from somebody else on BGG, uh, particularly for the bottom piece, and I'll show you that in a minute. I thought it was wonderful, so. It opens up, we have the instructions. We have the instructions for the Unseen Forces expansion. And then the first thing that you see here is a little tile box. And this box is really flat. It fits into the outer box really well, and it holds all of the small tiles and most of the small cards for the game. So we have our items, and our spell, our spell cards, and our allies, and we've got um, the midnight cards, and then of course all the important tokens. We've got Elder Sign tokens, and sanity points, and blood, and clues, and all sorts of bad things, nasty guys, and then of course the little tokens that represent each of our different characters. Now this whole thing is a single piece of foam core with foam core things going that way, thus dividing it into 12 little cubby holes, which is exactly right for keeping everything stored. Now the whole thing pops out from the inside, moves out of the way, and as you can see, there is one piece of foam core that has a bottom, and then it has a lip all the way around that fits into the box itself. And once you have that, you have the ability to be able to have a little bit more flexibility with what you do. So here is the lower container, which is all we really need. This container you can see, I cut purposely to be able to try to fit the different pieces uh, so that there would be enough room for them, so it's not particularly symmetrical. This is my favorite part right here, and this is what I was mentioning. This clock doesn't really fit anywhere. It fits perfectly there, but in order to keep it from slipping and to keep the whole thing flat, you cut out a little bit of the foam core right there, and that causes it just to fit like a glove. Nerdy, I know, but awesome at the same time. So we have that. Then this biggest container here is for the monsters because there are so many of them. And then we have, it wouldn't be Cthulhu Yahtzee without some Yahtzee dice, right? Here I've just got a space for the blessed and the cursed cards. Uh, didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I just ended up putting them there. And then all of our big size cards are here, broken into three various pieces. So you can play the game uh, leaving all of the tokens and things inside the upper tray and pulling the things out of here as you need them. Then, once you're done and you're ready to put it away, you just take all the parts, put them back, put the clock there. Then this piece fits in right on top, just like that. Then we put our instructions. Then we put our box lid. And we are done. Well, that's it for this episode of Under the Big Tree. I hope you liked that foam core box insert. And whether you have Elder Sign or any other board games, if it's something that's interesting to you, I just want to encourage you in knowing that it's not a very difficult thing to do. It's a lot of fun. It's a decent thing to do for the games that you really love. As always, if you like what we're doing around here, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. For now, this is Nick for Under the Big Tree, signing off.